by now, my eyes are absolutely playing tricks on me. I thought the stick was a snake, like an optical illusion. Hold on, is that something? What do you got? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's Python, Python, Python. There's there one, is. there's one. There He's is. on the move, he's on the move. Nice size. Oh my God. Oh. No, no, no. This is a Burmese python. The only problem is, we're a long way from Burma. Have you been bit before? Yeah, I get bit almost every trip I go down there. What started as a few sympathetic pet owners releasing their snakes into Florida's Everglades has become an epidemic, ravaging the local ecosystem and consuming its native wildlife. 90 to 99% of our fur-bearing native wildlife has been decimated in the Everglades from the python. They're missing. Even alligators are in risk. Luckily, these enemies of the state have finally met their match. Trapper Mike the Python Cowboy. I ain't saying that I'm rich, cause if I'm honest, Today, Mike's walking me through the ins and outs of invasive wildlife removal. You know, top predator, they're not scared of anything. Be ready to wrestle it. It's probably gonna double back and try to attack you. Don't let go of it. Don't throw the snake. And showing me how today's invasive species could become tomorrow's dinner. Who's eating these? I heard you like to try crazy stuff, so. What do you got here? Um, it's a, oh, oh lord. This is Daytona, my red tail boa. It just sprung at me. Yeah, she. I think there's a fence here. I'm surprised she did that. She's never bit me. Is she hungry right now or not? I just fed her. When I was a little kid, I used to breed and sell reptiles. I bought her when she was just a hatchling, raised her up for a year and sold her. And 18 years later, someone contacted, I wanted to know if I'd rescue their snake. And we got talking and they're the person that bought the snake from me. No way. 18 years 18, ago. 18, how long do they live? Maybe 30, 35. That's crazy. Today's a little bit scary because we're gonna attempt to catch a python in the wild. What, do you have like a butterfly net? What do you use? <laughs> uh, I, I use my hands to catch them. People wanna talk, they're talking reality. You have Mike is one of a handful of people who are given special permission by the state of Florida to hunt python. The Everglades once thriving ecosystem has been nearly wiped out by this invasive species. The problem, the python hunts everything, but nothing hunts the python until now. So you're being paid by the government. South Florida Water Management, yes sir. They've hired myself and 24 other hunters. How dangerous is what we're gonna do today? Realistically, it's not the most dangerous thing in the world, but I mean, just a couple years ago, there was a guy in the United Kingdom that died by an eight foot pet python. Some like circus act, this guy holding up the snake, put it around his own neck and was like showing off. Five seconds flat, on the ground, knocked out. Each python he catches is documented and dispatched. Mike gets paid by the foot. Big snakes mean big money, but also a big bite. The average size I catch is about 12 foot. Um, oh this snake's God. about 16 foot long. Me and my girlfriend actually caught together. Is this found kind of near where we're going today? It's found the exact same place we're going. That's, that's great, I think that's great. It's not poisonous. No. The way it kills you is by wrapping itself around you, maybe. It's a constrictor. But it has to bite you first, right? Yeah, I get bit almost every trip I go down there. It's extremely painful. It punctures down in a muscle. They actually do have a little bit of venom on their back lands. It's gonna swell you up. It's gonna irritate you. And their long teeth breaking off in you. You can get infection. You gotta cut them out. It's a whole, you know, sh show. Why are we doing this? The sun is going down right now. We are peering into the ditch, but honestly, if we see anything, what do I do? Make me aware of it, basically. I was hoping to get a little bit more involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> Either myself or you are gonna grab it, be ready to wrestle it. It's probably gonna double back and try to attack you. Don't let go of it, don't throw the snake. What I do is I stay behind the snake, I dance around it, I pick my moment to grab its head. Man, it must be good to have a partner, right? Yeah, kind of hard to find someone that's reliable and good at it and can stick it out the whole night with you. Are there snacks out here, though? <laughs> We're a snack if we don't play our cards right. Come on, guys. Let's move. We got an American alligator here. Hey, buddy. Instantly blind, doesn't care. The Everglades. This used to be known as alligator territory. But now, because of pythons, even the gator population is at risk. Eat that fish, eat that fish. 
Oh. He does look pretty full. Yeah, that's a plump gator. Alligators are masters of disguise. In waters like these, a gator could be inches away and you'd never know it until it was too late. We are literally in alligator infested waters right now. Feels like a terrible idea. Are you sure this is okay? Yeah, we're fine. Stick where I'm walking. Do you feel this muck you're walking in? Yeah. They can actually bury themselves in it where you'll barely even see them underwater. Why are you telling me that? Well, I'm just letting you know what you're in for. That's why I said walk where I walk. Okay, but they're not gonna like cruise up to us, right? Right. I mean, they could. Okay. I guess we should get back to the truck, but it's not because I'm scared and I'm not scared of anything. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I was starting to lose confidence in you. No, bit. never, man. Everything's great. Good, Let's just good. go really quick. I don't have a flashlight. You have the flashlight. That's fine, though. Let me just take some big steps here. We're good. And now we're out of the alligator place. All right, good. Let's go. My ADD is through the roof. I'm just looking at grass over and over. Keep seeing a branch and thinking that it's a snake and it's not. I think this takes a lot of mental stamina and patience, like an incredible amount of patience. Cause it's not like you just gotta go and put eight hours on the clock. Like you need to come back with results. Spotlight down here. It's a native southern toad. I was making sure it's not an invasive cane toad. The invasives, they produce this milky white toxin. We'd kill him if we seen him, but he's good to go. 11, 12 p.m. That's a bug. Generally, snakes like to find shelter underneath any kind of random object. We're gonna flip these over and see what we can find underneath. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Grab that corner. Nothing. Oh, man. Maybe they're all out cruising around. That's not my favorite game. <laughs> Were you saying you think there's no pythons in this particular area? No, I don't think that at all. I just I don't catch a bunch in this area just because there's more human traffic here than oh, stop, anywhere else. Stop, 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 stop. Allie, can you go back a little back bit? Back up, Allie. That's a hold stick. on. I can't do this, man. Yeah. It's a little too dark for a python. All right. Python's gonna be a little more yellowish, goldish color. I thought it was a tan python. Keep the mic hot, though. Keep it hot. Are they sound sensitive? No, no. We All can right. talk as loud as we want. I do want it to be more dramatic though. So right now I put on bug spray on my face and it made my lips go numb. That happened to you guys at all? Are your lips numb? Maybe that's just me. That's one of the scariest things to happen so far. Hour four of hunting and still nothing. Hold on, is that something? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's Python, Python, Python. There's, there it is. There's one, there's there on the move, he's on the move. Nice size. What should do you I think, man? Let's grab our tail, bring, bring it, up? it up in front of the truck. Just gently. Oh my God, it's so heavy. As long as its head is by you and not me. Oh no, 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 okay. It's most likely gonna be a female this size. Oh, should I? okay. You didn't like it's, that, it's, huh? It's, Rule number one, you don't drop them. The key is to not hesitate, commit to it. If it bites you, don't pull away because you're gonna be leaving with some teeth in your hand. I believe in you. It sounds so pissed off right now. Oh, it yeah, is it's not pissed. happy. Oh, jeez. What if I stepped on its head? That's cheating. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, I'm a huge punch right now. I can't do it. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Don't jerk away if it bites you. <gasps> you got lucky, oh, son. Oh no. Okay, hey, hey. This is your chance. I'm this gonna is gonna do round two. No, 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 you yeah, had it. Don't do that, don't do that, okay. Here. Oh, it's so pissed. Oh, it sends the fear. So weak right now. Come on, let's go. Let's do this. Now's your great time. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Don't hesitate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like a pro, son. It's, it's all you at this point. I'm going to go get a bag. All right, you get a bag. I'll just hang out here. We'll talk. He's not pumped right now. What he's trying to do is get some leverage on me and roll around me, grab me, squeeze me. It's not going to happen, buddy. I like hugs, but not from you. Dancing around it and kind of wearing it oh, out first. Cause now it's only gonna give you a little bit oh. of a fuck. Where did it poop on you? Oh, oh come on. Oh, there. nasty. Look at that. Look oh, at that. no. <laughs> they never show this part on TV. No, they don't. That's the good stuff. I'm good. If you just want to grab it now. You're good? 
Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh man, we we reek. You smell that? I smell victory. <laughs> All right. I'm impressed. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, man. Well, hey, I learned from the best. <laughs> hey, it helps. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. That was sure. great. That was the last time I looked that snake in the eyes. Catching the snake is the first challenge. Challenge two is processing it. I was fine the whole time and not scared. The snake is totally dead, but its body is still somehow acting like it's reacting to the pain. Like it's built into their nervous system. Exactly, and that's why I capture them all live by hand. I know countless people that have gone to shoot them. Perfect shot in the head, it still swims right off, and it's wow. gone. Now, the skinning. Done carefully enough to preserve the snake hide. I'm gonna put a hole through here with my knife that I can tie this string through. That's gonna act as our anchor point. And then we just peel the skin back? Yes, sir. Right. Grab a side, and I'll all grab right. a side. All right, here we go. Just a nice, kind of even. You wanted to get that? I'll hold the table? Yeah. Oh, dude. All right, almost there. Oh. I'm going to wash this thing down a little bit sure. and uh, set this aside, and then we'll start preparing the meat. Sounds good to me. The python is sectioned into grillable size portions and rinsed before grilling the blanching boiled with an Everglade seasoning blend for 20 minutes. When is the last time you cooked a python? I don't need it myself, really. I, I sell it. Don't get high in your own supply. After boiling, season it with more Everglade seasoning, along with salt, black pepper, and roasted pineapple and habanero glaze, probably from aisle nine of Costco. Then leave it to marinate. What I don't understand is here, everybody's eating alligator bites, alligator everything. But then when it comes to python, are people eating it? People eating alligator are usually like tourists, you know? I I think just in general, people are creeped out by snakes. For a guy who's never grilled a snake, he's doing a convincing job of winging it. While that grills, I want to show Mike something he's been missing out on. Snakes are really interesting because all their organs are long, as you could imagine, and they have a really unique looking long liver. You want to eat it? I want us to eat it. Oh, wow. You've never seen liver and onions like this. Uncanny python's liver. Long and slender, chopped up and fried in oil. It looks black as night. <laughs> it looks like a snake a little bit. Yeah, it looks yeah. actually. A little sliver here. That's nice. Cheers. Let's, let's cheers here. We did, okay. okay. You cheers the food? Yeah, yeah let's, let's give it a cheers. Not bad. It's really not bad. Interesting texture, huh? Yeah. You feel gross? Yeah, I feel really gross. <laughs> I kind of like it, man. I'm gonna eat your other half right here. Go for it. It's a livery, of course, obviously, but it's got some nice density to it. Pretty chewy. It's not bad though, it's kind of like chicken. Yeah, I like it. So who knew, man? Python livers, they're huge, they're long, and you can eat them. Yeah, we just did. <laughs> Well, hey there, Mike. Hey there, bud. For someone who's never cooked python before, this looks pretty darn good. I'm happy with it. It looks stunning. And then we got like the sunlight just kind of kissing it with the nice uh, glaze. I like it's that. It looks shiny and yeah. sticky. Oh, it is a bit tough. You gotta almost fillet it. Like you're still filleting the snake. You're right. If you just kind of use all the tools, hands, forks, knives. Team effort. Watch out. Oh, you're gonna just cut it like that? Chewy. That is a chewy ass snake. We're pretty damn good. If it was possible to break your teeth on a piece of meat, it would be this one. The flavor though, the flavor is nice. It is. It's an old man. It's pretty damn good. I like the sauce. And the sauce is a good pair for the meat itself. It goes well with it. The son of a gun, that is chewy. Yeah, Do you think this will be your new thing? No. Maybe you become, oh, okay. No. I like to think that our native wildlife populations are much increased and we have less invasive species out there. And I think that's very possible with the direction we're heading. 25 of you going out doing like what you're doing, kind of freelance, choosing your own hours, but choosing to go out to hunt down these animals, it's no joke. Maybe you have a vehicle, maybe you have some modern tools that people didn't have 100 years ago, but all the principles of hunting are still there. Glad you see that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think anybody who watches on TV, maybe even people watching this can get the false impression like because everything has to be cut together. Yeah. You can't have a show that shows four hours of just looking into the grass, but that's what it is. I just want to thank you for all your effort you're putting into to what you're doing here in this cause for the greater good and for trying that liver. That was awesome. First time he's ever had a liver of any kind and it was from a python. That's awesome. Hey, that's for you. All right. Cheers, buddy. Thank cheers. you. A while back when I was in Guangzhou, China, a veteran chef made work of a similar size snake, blanching, seasoning, and finally frying up a high-end, great-tasting meal. 
Considering Florida must rid its ecosystem of these invasive creatures anyways, it'd be nice if a trend of actually consuming the python meat came into fashion, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. For now, people like Mike are hard at work hitting the road and saving Florida's Everglades one python at a time. From researching and shooting to editing and mastering, our 10-person best ever food review show team works hard to roll out the highest quality travel food entertainment twice a week. If you like what we do here, please consider supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a monthly sum and receive a load of extras like early video releases, private Q&As, and beyond. To learn more about our Patreon, check out the link in the description box down below. And if you can't give or don't even feel like it, that's okay too. <laughs> We're just happy you're here. Huge thank you to my man, Mike the Python Cowboy on YouTube and Instagram. Just search Python Cowboy, my dude. You killed it, thank you so much. Absolutely, let's do it again sometime. Heck yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace. Peace. What do you want?